A trimaran is a mulchy hull boat that comprises a main hull and two smaller outrigger hulls which are attached to the main hull with lateral beams. Trimarans are most commonly sail-driven yachts designed for recreation or racing, but there are a few trimaran ferries and warships. Etymology, the name trimaran is a 20th century word concocted from tri, and, carta, moran. It is thought to have been invented by Viktor Cheche, a pioneering, Ukrainian-born modern mulchy hull designer. History The first trimarans were built by indigenous Polynesians and other Pacific Islanders almost 4,000 years ago, and some of the current U.S. terminology is derived from them. Sailing catamarans and trimarans gained popularity during the 1960s and 1970s. In modern times, originally many catamarans and trimarans were home-built, but there are now many production models available. Some trimarans in the 19 Euro 36 foot lengths are designed as day sailors, which can be transported on a road trailer. These include the original Farrier, Cassair folding trimarans, and original John Westall swingwing folding trimaran and light trimarans. Some designers have penned demountable trimarans that are able to be trailered. The trimaran concept has also been used for both passenger ferries and warships. For example, in 2005 the 127 meter trimaran Banchi Jaguar Express was delivered by Austal to Spanish ferry operator Fred Olson, SA for service in the Canary Islands. Capable of carrying 1,280 passengers and 340 cars, or equivalents, at speeds up to 40 knots, this boat was the longest aluminum ship in the world at the time of delivery. A modern warship, the RV Triton was commissioned by British defence contractor Kinetti Ku in 2000. In October 2005, the United States Navy commissioned for evaluation the construction of a General Dynamics LCS trimaran designed and built by Austal. The DARPA is experimenting with the trimaran design, and in 2012 awarded SAIC a contract to perform phases 2 through 4 of the ACTUV program. The contract is expected to be completed by August 2015. Mulchy Hull Component Terms According to American usage, there are three terms that describe the main components of catamarans and trimarans, namely, a euro or of a car euro, a euro o e car euro and a euro o a m r a euro. These terms come from the Malay and Polynesian language group terms for parts of the outrigger canoe. Vaca is the canoe or main hull. Also known as is the framework member that connects the vaca to the armor. Armor is the outrigger, connected to the vaca by an also known as. The above terminologies reflects only American usage. In the UK the main hull of a trimaran is called simply the main hull or center hull. The outrigger hulls are floats. The structures between the main hull and the floats are called the wings and the structural portions thereof are beams. In cruising trimarans the wings are solid and cabin accommodation extends over them, while in racing trimarans accommodation is limited to the main hull and the wings are open sheets of netting. Comparison to outrigger canoes In comparison to outrigger canoes, trimarans typically feature a sail and are not primarily designed to be paddled. Trimarans are typically significantly wider. In addition, trimaran floats are usually larger and more buoyant than those of outrigger canoes and typically contribute more considerably to drag which slows down the boat. Comparison to monohulls, two types of trimaran exist, the regular trimaran and the open trimaran, which features a trampoline between the hulls instead of plating. Trimarans have a number of advantages over comparable monohulls. Given two boats of the same length, the trimaran has a shallower draft, a wider beam, less wetted area, and is able to fly more sail area. In addition, because of the writing moment provided by the wide beam, trimarans do not need the weighted keel that is required in monohulls. As a result of the wide beam, the trimaran offers much better straight line performance than a monohull, is able to sail in shallower water, and maintains its stability in stronger winds. However, its wider beam requires more space to maneuver, so tacking and gibbing can be trickier in confined areas. In the case of trimarans with open wings, the narrower hulls provide less living space than an equivalently sized monohull, but with solid wings the cabin accommodation can extend out over the wings providing a very roomy interior. Finally, trimarans require more docking space in marinas, 
unless the armor can be folded to reduce the beam. As the writing moment is produced by a float, or armor, rather than a heavy protruding keel, trimarans are lighter and faster than a monohull of equivalent length. A lightweight retractable keel or foil, referred to as a centerboard or daggerboard is often employed to resist lateral movement, making many models easily beachable. Most trimarans are difficult to flip sideways given a reasonable degree of caution, however, trimarans can reach speeds so great in high winds that they can plow into the back of a wave and flip end over end. This hazard is especially dangerous for a mulchy hull that is using a spinnaker in high winds and large seas. To avoid this unfortunate scenario trimaran sailors are advised to reduce sail and to always have all sails easily released. The use of trampolines with a large weave, to allow water to easily pass through, and the deployment of parachute anchors drogues and sea anchors whenever appropriate should reduce the risk to an acceptable degree. The father of the modern sailing trimaran is Viktor Cheche, a Russian a copyright migra copyright and a strong proponent of mulchy hull sailing. Mr. Cheche, who was a fighter pilot during the First World War in the Tsar's Air Force, lived in Great Neck, New York from the 1940s until his death. He built two trimarans while living in the U.S., Eggnog 1 and 2. Both boats were made of marine plywood and were about 24 feet long. Mr. Cheche is credited with coining the name Trimoran. Aside from boat design Mr. Cheche earned his living as a landscape and portrait painter. About the same time, Arthur Pivel was also building Trimorans in the USA and created many early plywood designs to which amateurs built their boats. Many successfully crossed oceans despite being relatively heavy and inferior compared to those of more modern design. The home-built cruiser movement survived his death in 1968 with designers Jim Brown, Ed Horstman, John Marples, Jay Cantola, Chris White, Norman Cross and Richard Nowick bringing the Trimaran Cruiser to new levels of performance and safety. Equals folding Trimarans equals. Several manufacturers build Trimarans in which the floats can be removed, repositioned, or folded near to the main hull. This allows them to be trailerable and or to fit in a normal monohull space in a marina. At least six technologies are in use, demountable fixed tubes, some trimarans are built demountable to allow them to be trailered to a launch site and then assembled before launching. This takes longer than a folding system but is typically lighter and less costly, and can also be used for craft with too much beam for a folding system. For example, the small modern wetter trimaran uses tubes to connect the floats to the main hull, which are lashed in from a canvas trampoline and further held in place by the side stays. Similarly, the original Dragonfly trimarans and the home-built W-22 use this design. Telescopic tubes, the French company Astage Boats produces a range of trimarans that use telescopic tubes to connect the floats to the main hull. Hinge and latch, the W-17 trimaran uses a strong hinge and latch system that allows the ammers to fold over the main hull to reduce width for trailing. Suitable for craft under 18 feet only unless water stays are added. Vertical folding, Farrier Marine use a vertical folding mechanism, first used on the trailer tree and subsequently on most of his designs. All Farrier designed boats are known as FBOATS. Whisper also uses a vertical folding mechanism as do Corsair Marine, who use the vertical folding mechanism designed by Ian Farrier designation was replaced with a C designation on their trimorans. Tramax trimarans use a folding mechanism claimed to be a further development of the farrier design. Horizontal articulation, dragonfly trimarans use a nearly horizontal articulation called swing wing. The slight angle makes the floats fold into the narrower, lower part of the central hull and also increases stability when in the folded position. A similar horizontal articulation design is also used in the Sign 96 CRB. This kind of system was first used in Ocean Bird trimarans designed by John Westall and built by Honor Marine Limited of Totens. Horizontal folding, Telstar trimarans uses a unique horizontal folding design along with a simple mast raising system to facilitate trailer sailing. It can be powered easily with the ammers folded in or extended. Safety. Equals advantages equals, although it is possible for a trimaran to capsize. This is less frequent than with monohull boats because of the greater resistance to rolling that the ammers offer. 
most trimaran designs are considered nearly unsinkable because even when filled with water, the flotation of one armor is enough to keep the entire vessel afloat. Because of their stability and safety, special trimarans such as the Challenger have become popular with sailors who have restricted mobility. The greater speed compared to monohulls can also become important for safety when weather conditions are bad or threaten to deteriorate because the boat can leave the area of danger faster. Potential buyers of trimarans should look for one that is designed with ammers with multiple sealed partitions, controls that all run to the cockpit, a collision bulkhead, partial or full cockpit coverings or windshields, and drain holes in the cockpit that can adequately drain the cockpit quickly, among other things. Equals disadvantages equals, trimaran capsizes are more likely to be of the pitch pole type than a roll to one side due to their higher sideways stability and speeds. Capsized trimarans are harder to turn upright after they have turtled than monohull boats. While some capsized trimarans righted by sideways rotation may suffer heavy damage to mast and rigging, many modern and ancient trimarans are explicitly designed for this method of writing. Harnesses pulling on the stern toward the bow, or from the bow toward the stern of capsized trimarans have been shown to be able to successfully turn them end over end. Several design features reduce the chance of pitch pole capsize. These include having wing nets with an open weave designed to reduce windage and decks and nets that shed water easily. The best way to avoid capsize is to reduce sail in heavy weather. In their early days, trimarans were rather less robust than monohulls, and ran a greater risk of structural damage in heavy weather. Even today, ocean-going trimaran sailors remain wary of this risk. Trimarans at anchor or on a mooring tend to follow the wind due to their lightweight and shallow draft, whereas monohulls usually follow the tides. This can cause collisions if the trimaran is moored close to a monohull and their swing circles overlap. A correctly rigged bridle to the anchor line should reduce the swing to a minimum. 33rd America's Cup, competing with a giant trimaran the BMW Oracle Racing Team representing the Golden Gate Yacht Club won the 2010 America's Cup on February 14, 2010, off Valencia, Spain, beating the giant catamaran Alinghi 2-0 in the best of three series and becoming the first American syndicate to win the Cup since 1992. The large rigid wing sail of the USA-17 Trimaran provided a decisive advantage and the Trimaran won the America's Cup by a considerable margin in each race. World Records Francis Joyen holds the new world record for solo circumnavigation of the world, set on January 20, 2008. The 51-year-old Frenchman circled a planet alone in 57 days, 13 hours, 34 minutes, 6 seconds in a Trimaran. He beat British sailor Alan MacArthur's record set in February 2005 for which he spent just over 71 days at sea. French sailor Lo C. K. Piran holds the current record for fastest circumnavigation of the world in the Trimaran Bank Popular V. The crude circumnavigation was completed in 45 days, 13 hours, 42 minutes, and 53 seconds. Earthrus holds the current UIM powerboat record for an equatorial circumnavigation via the Panama and Suez Canals. Hydroptery, an experimental sailing hydrofoil trimaran, briefly reached 56.3 knots near Faux Mer, but capsized and turtled shortly thereafter. In naval ships, literal combat ships built by General Dynamics at Bath Iron Works will be of a trimaran design. USS Independence is the first of these ships. Littoral combat ships built by Lockheed will be of a monohull design. First launched in August 31, 2012 at Barley Strait, 63M carbon fiber composite trimaran fast missile boat named Kairikalwang, a traditional Indonesian single-edge sword, will be the first stealth trimaran of the Indonesian Navy built by North Sea Boats at Benayuangi, East Java, Indonesia. This ship combines a number of existing advanced technologies into a single, unique platform. A wave piercer trimaran hull from, constructed exclusively of infused vinyls to carbon fiber cord sandwich materials for all structural elements, with external stealth geometry and features intended to reduce detection. Sadly, the Kairikalman caught fire because of an electrical short circuit in the engine room during a maintenance period on September 28, 2012 and was a total loss. 
43-meter trimmer rams called Ocean Eagle from CMN Wharf with design from Nigel E. Renz and Brulage based on the Ocean Adventurer concept will provide coastal protection for Mozambique. Image Gallery Sailing Trimorans Image Gallery Engine Driven Trimorans See also, List of Mulshi Hulls, Catamaran, Mulshi Hull, RV Triton, a large powered trimaran vessel, sailing, turtling. Notes References, Jim Howard, Charles J. Doan. Handbook of Offshore Cruising, The Dream and Reality of Modern Ocean Cruising. C.A. Markage. Aero Hydrodynamics of Sailing. Tillipub. ISBN 1-888671-18-1. External links, A Sailing Community for Enthusiasts of Small Trimorans, Trimoran Designer and Builder.